Well, London started uh, the year uh, at an amazing pace with frenetic activity. Uh, it was mainly due to lack of supply, and this has settled itself in the second quarter with increased supply in the market, 26% more increased supply in central London in the second quarter of the year compared to last year. Therefore, it's a more normal market, a healthier market, where uh, buyers have got much, much more to look at than they had before. And therefore, there's not that uh, desperate uh, attempt to buy something. They've got their time, they can take it a bit easier, and therefore the market has settled. I see that carrying through into the third quarter. We're still seeing good amounts of stock coming onto the market, and therefore I see no reason that to, for that to change, and I see a, a settled and healthy market going forward into the third quarter. Surprisingly, one-bed flats have outperformed the market um, in both prime central and outer prime London. Uh, people are paying more comparatively for one-bedroom flats. I think that's a number of reasons. Um, the main one is people now buy very much on square footage. So they don't compromise with a, a rather grotty two-bedroom flat crowbarred into a one-bedroom flat space. So uh, as a result, the really good quality one-bedroom flats have increased uh, dramatically in value this year. Um, both in Prime Central and Outer Prime. The supply and demand scenario was a real issue in quarter one this year with extraordinarily limited supply and an amazing demand which, you know, as night follows day saw prices rise dramatically. That s situation has, thank goodness, resolved itself. We've seen more supply uh, more supply is from letting investors selling, uh, cashing in perhaps some of their investments. Interestingly, we're seeing those sell to yet more investors. So um, we see the lettings market carrying on uh, in, in an encouraging fashion. UK buyers have always been uh, prominent in what we call second-hand stock. So uh, foreign buyers will very much buy new build. Uh, they'll buy off plan and they'll just forget about it until it's built. UK buyers have been, have been prominent. They've become more prominent in both prime and outer prime London. Uh, in prime central London, uh, they have been buying pied de terres They've been buying uh, flats for themselves to live in. Uh, they've been buying flats for their children. Foreign investors are still, are still prominent in the London market. However, they, uh, they're certainly their prominence has, has decreased in the last uh, six to eight months. Um, sterling, the strength of sterling has a, has a big part to play in that. The enthusiasm was huge and therefore it's just now quite large. Um, so there's still plenty of foreign buyers around, plenty of European buyers around. Uh, London is a booming job centre at the moment, therefore European buyers in London who buy, and they don't just buy and leave, they buy to live here. Uh, and they're a big part of our market and, and, and remain so. The mortgage market review which came in in May this year um, was intended to slow the market and uh, make sure that first-time buyers, and in fact any buyers, could absolutely afford what they were trying to buy. It's had that effect of slowing the market. Our view is that uh, because now it's not a 45-minute interview, it's a three-hour interview, that uh, there is a, a major backlog of people keen, even desperate in some cases, to get a mortgage who literally cannot get in front of a bank. So our view is that that, those, that tranche of people will come through in the next six, seven, eight weeks and start to feed back into the market, knowing what they can buy, knowing importantly what they can't buy, and be absolutely ready to make the move when the right property comes up. Lettings activity has increased in the second quarter of this year substantially. Firstly, it's the time of year. Lettings is always busy at this time of year. However, uh, the employment situation in, in London is, is, is extraordinary. It is sucking in huge amounts of overseas talent. Uh, our corporate services department have seen a massive increase in inquiries from overseas in the first half of this year. And therefore, simple, it's supply and demand once again. Uh, there's good supply, but the demand is outpacing it. And therefore, for the first time for months, we've seen pro uh, rental prices in Prime Central London increase. Um, in some cases quite substantially. There's been much talk of whether there is or isn't a housing bubble in London. My view is that there isn't. 
Uh, there could have been if uh, uh, the first quarter of this year had kept on going in the same vein. 25-26% year-on-year increase in Ballam and Clapham was frankly too much. Uh, there's a number of factors that have slowed the market naturally uh, to a steady, healthy level of growth and therefore I see that carrying on throughout this year and I see year-on-year uh, year, I would guess a 5-6-7% increase in prime central London property uh, over the next 12 months which is healthy and realistic and rational.